Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how to make a software simulation using Active Presenter 7. This unique feature make Active Presenter stand out of the crowd when it comes to creating e-learning content. Let's getting started now. In this video, I will make a short tutorial on how to use a coupon code on JackieDeals.com. Let's launch Active Presenter and open Chrome browser. Go back to Active Presenter's start page now. In order to make a software simulation, go ahead to record software simulation at the left corner of Active Presenter's start page. This is the recording toolbar of Active Presenter. It looks similar to Active Presenter standard screen recorder with a minor change here. There is no webcam recording function on this toolbar. Added to that, the recording will be in multiple slides. Whenever you click your mouse, one slide is created. If you want to learn how to record screen using Active Presenter, check out the link at the corner of this video. In this case, I am going to make a tutorial for a web application. I will choose locked application function in Active Presenter. Normally, you can check the audio recording function if you want to speak during the tutorial. I turned it off in this example. Click here when you are ready. After the countdown, you can start your work. During the recording, you can pause at any time you want to. Remember to click your mouse at the targeted position only. Otherwise, you will need to delete unnecessary annotation in later steps. Once you finished, press Ctrl and end on your keyboard to stop the recording. Active Presenter will automatically redirect you to the main workspace. Here you can see multiple slides on the left. Each slide is created when your mouse is clicked. There are total 14 slides in this short tutorial. You can delete, or modify any slide you want. Go to Export, Preview HTML5 to see how the result looks like. Here is the tutorial created automatically by Active Presenter, without modifying anything. Cursor speed is a little bit too slow because I did not change its setting from the beginning. You should definitely check out these settings to save your time in later editing steps. As you can see, the result is great, except the cursor speed, and the size of the annotation boxes. These parameters can be modified easily at the main workspace. For example, you can adjust the annotation box, increase the cursor speed to meet your requirements. This workaround needs some more time to figure out what best for you. Once you are done, export your project in video format or HTML5. Active Presenter lets you export your project into different video formats such as MP4, AVI, MKV, or WebM. If you need to upload your project to your website, or a learning management system, go ahead to HTML5 export option. Optionally, you can choose Report on Score or Zappy 2. Now I will export the project into HTML5 to see how it works. 
Click yes to view the output. There are some options to try here. Go ahead to demonstration to watch the video. That's the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any question about this feature, leave your comment here. If you like my tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.